All right, I'm going to attempt to show you how to do the CC hair thing. Um, I've got a new composition here. Uh, I'm going to go new, solid, make comp size, doesn't matter what color it is, hit OK. And I'm going to add my effect, simulation, hair, change some of the parameters like the length. Okay, and then I'm going to create another solid. Again, color doesn't matter. Hit OK. And select it. Hit enter to rename it. A hair wall map. Okay, then I'm going to go effect generate, or excuse me, noise and grain, fractal noise. Um, and then I'm going to click the little uh, stopwatch here and uh, move about 10 seconds and I'm going to animate the evolution 3 actually we'll do 5 so when you when you have, when you have this press down it automatically puts keyframes on your effects every time you change something so you can see the keyframes here uh, if I were to change this again you can see that it drops a keyframe there but I'm not going to do that because we don't need it you know I'm going to go back to the beginning Close that back up. Okay, now with this, this hair fall map, you need to right click or and go to pre-compose or you can go to layer pre-compose. Select move move all attributes to the new comp. Hit OK. Uh, and now that you have uh, this pre-composed, you can go back in here under hair fall map, select hair fall map. And then you can actually just turn this off. And then when you press spacebar or RAM preview button, you can see that your your hair is moving. Act preview. Begin. Now you can see it's moving. Um, now, obviously, this may, not, may, may or may not be the effect you, that you want. Um, you have to double-click to go back in here and uh, adjust the effect to get the type of movement that you want.